in a meeting with True TV. What? So, w- thanks for coming in. And what is? Listen, listen to me. <laughs> it is a complex and robust <laughs> sexual slavery network. It doesn't just exist. <laughs> and the show is. All right. So, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. And you, and you spread around. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know what you're describing now, but you better, you better be very careful. Cool whip. Like, listen, you can make a kid Christmas magical even in a lever house. You get Cool Whip and you get a couple of dildos and everybody. Nah, has, you get the gingerbread. Silent lies. Yep. Nobody <laughs> talks. No, I'm that mad. Christmas. Cool Whip is not just for eating pussy with. It's just, you know. Daddy you got- is stressed. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> a chick with a black eye. Paul. <laughs> listen, listen, listen to me. It's Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> this is the day I guess to show her who's boss. I think you're getting the different uses of the word hit. I mean, when you hit like I, a bomb, I yeah. know. I yeah. was a drug addict for a decade I, of it. It's a roller <laughs> Thank you for coming into True TV. What? what? It, it's a roller coaster of into the decline. <laughs> it, it's a roller coaster into the depths of the decline <laughs> of America. Thank you. Dollar. Look at that boils all over his skin. Look at this. This is for the reptile boy. L- listen to me. I was selling the elixir. That is what I was hired to do. <laughs> it's to sell the elixir. That's what I was hired to do in the last town. I wasn't told about any of my other responsibilities. <laughs> okay? I had I to trim the bearded lady twice. Nobody said anything to me about that. Okay, thank you. I just I am just asking. Let me sleep in the tent. I don't want to sleep in the wagon. <laughs> Put yourself in the mind of somebody. You're like, all right, listen. <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm going in right now. All right. He's putting Christmas lights up in his friend's house. He seems like a good guy. But then he goes home, and he makes a video of Winnie the Pooh getting it in the ass. <laughs> Guys, they're like anime this. heads. Whoa. The heads are throbbing like a cock. Yeah, Ray, you're really a little too good at this symbolism. What? I didn't really know. <laughs> There's a head throbbing like a cock, <laughs> and the way she's eating that, she's eating the cock, that's what she's doing. I'm like, why don't you, I mean, uh, so these girls are getting at least turn- pretend you have not seen these before. <laughs> these girls are getting turned on by the guys punching the, the bag. And- but it's like, you know, you're hanging out, you're building rapport, you, you know, usually we're drinking, but not like no one's getting yeah. super drunk. We're drinking, and you kind of like kind of, right. and usually a few hours goes you're by. You're hanging out, a van pulls up, <laughs> you got a few people in there, you put her in there. It's a practical joke. You explain to her that it's a joke. Everything is happening is a joke, and that she's going to be okay. <laughs> and it's okay. And you just say, these are your friends, and they help you move, and you got a moving business on the side. <laughs> and then you put her in the van, and then you explain to her that it's for her own good that you've restrained her, right. because people could get hysterical, and she could hurt herself. <laughs> you just you just don't want her to hurt herself. <laughs> so I understand that your usual process, no, notwithstanding. It's a, usually is a little more of like, you know, you... you, you know, Tug of war, literally. Yeah, tug of war, no. It's a- <laughs> it was like Goodwill Hunting, but yeah. the guy's really an idiot, you know? <laughs> Who let you in here? Yeah. Why were you writing? Listen. <laughs> what are you writing on the board? Yeah, you're just writing nothing. <laughs> you're drawing dicks. <laughs> Listen, I'm, a, I'm an unrecognized genius. I've been cleaning the school for a long time. And then they're like, all right, let him write. Then you just start writing in cell. <laughs> you know, the liberation of women. Becky's and fucking <laughs> Stacy's. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy's gotta fuck Becky's not. <laughs> this was not a serious consideration <laughs> that Ray would be my agent. But there would be nothing funnier than having you negotiate <laughs> on my behalf. We're like, listen, here's the reality. <laughs> listen, the money you need to understand what we're gonna deliver. Two words, Murray Rothbard. You've never seen a show <laughs> like we're going to. Fractional you, Reserve Bank, we got to talk about this it. This is like the circus when you could hit the animals, you know, <laughs> when things ran efficiently. You want to stick things in us? Yeah. <laughs> it's all game. It's all game. I mean, there's something I like about the idea of, you know, I always wanted to be an elite, Raymond. I, if we got in, I mean, we'd have to do something like the Capitea statue like you know, or like. Is that what yeah, we'd have to really make a we'd name have to, for ourselves. We'd have, to, we'd have to burn down the food court, or whatever they call it. You know, we'd have to like <laughs> imagine we burned down the food court because we thought it'd get us in a skull and bones. We just ended up in jail. <laughs> like, what are you idiots? 
<laughs> we wanted to make a statement. We burned down the food court thinking we were going to get tapped in the fucking <laughs> skull and bones. And now we're in jail. In people that we've had on, yeah. everyone except Nick Bryan, by the way, because he's... He, but everybody, but, but how many people just want to be famous? Right. How many of these people? Nick Bryan is like a line cook in yeah, a diner. I mean, Nick Bryan's like he doesn't give a fuck. He's just getting to work. I read a book on lower socioeconomic children. <laughs> I, I like eating raw steak, <laughs> not good steak, bad steak. I like, I like not knowing what's gonna happen. <laughs> My Nick Bryan and Ray are very similar. <laughs> you go, you go start with Nick Bryan. You start like I read a book. I know it's socioeconomic children. And then you go right in the right. You're... And technical about their order, you know? Well, they're going to have McDonald's once a week. It All might right. as well be good. It, that's Why is that sad? It's very sad. It's not sad. It's you knowing... asking why is it sad? That's like, that is why it's sad. Is you're, you, you empathize. Right? Why is it sad to have McDonald's once a week? Why is that sad? Here, you I... just turn my headphones up, and now I just hear it. Thank you. Why is it sad? If you want a McRib, but I'm, you want it, you want it in a wrap. You're the guy. You're the guy who, who's always critiquing food to me and telling me why yeah. this, this isn't crispy enough and that's not, yeah. you know, filleted with fucking pickle juice. Yeah. When you go to an I love that you criticize fast food restaurants for when people go late at night when it's appropriate to eat. You're like, you gotta get it at prime time. You eat at McDonald's on Thanksgiving at <laughs> 3 p.m. when they have a chance to prepare you a good meal. With your family. I'm just saying. Why are you going to Taco Bell at 2 p.m.? You go at 11 a.m. for lunch. That's how you start your day. This is basic free market capitalism, right? <laughs> when you go in a busy time, they're cycling through all the meat and the cheeses and the flesh, and they're just getting it all, you know, it's just it's not sitting around for fucking all this time. Yeah. You're fucking to bring wild mountains. That's a big Irish song. It's amazing you people never conquered anything. Yeah, right? it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, and uh, what did you guys do with your Germans? You're real proud of what you did. Huh? Well, that's good. We got it done. Yeah, okay. That's good. <laughs> real proud of the Holocaust, you fat slob. <laughs> That's it. You people didn't do anything. We put babies in an oven. <laughs> it's very good, you fucking animals. <laughs> oh, could just really be called They Stop at Sandy Hook. Yeah. That, like, you know, like, you're like, I'm not going to go to Newtown. <laughs> Literally, he can't go. He's not allowed to go to Newtown because I went there doing an investigation on my own. <laughs> I, just, I imagine just Ray getting in the faces of children. Liar. You're a liar. So you're an actor? <laughs> I have to get this job. <laughs> um, it looks so disgusting. It looks like one fry is shitting on the other fry. <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> looks like one fry is fucking the other fry, but the other fry's been dead for only maybe an hour. It's just kind of warm, but lukewarm. <laughs> um, can you... Wait, so he's... Wait, where are we trying to send him? Nickelodeon Zone? <laughs> Nickelodeon oh, that's good. Universe. That's not legally actionable. What is Nickelodeon? I thought that was... Oh, hey, 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 it's, it's Uncle Ray. Hey, you want to play cat dog? Well, I, you, you mean you were like uh, fused together like cat dog. Isn't that funny? Well, get off me. Who's this? The cops? Leave me alone. I'm trying to make friends. I love everybody. I've never been on a plane. <laughs> uh, you know, I just can't imagine that that goes anywhere fucking good. Appreciate that. It's uh, TimJDillon.com? No, it's Tim Dillon com Tim Dillon Comedy dot com, you fat pig. <laughs> you know what it was and you're fucking was. sabotaging me. <laughs> Um, fucking confuse this audience. It is that's Tim Dillon, comic pizza backslash the truth uh, dot org. Yeah, it's on the dark web. <laughs> Ray has a site on the dark web. So you have to it's No a, comedy, it's just <laughs> no just lewd. Just satanic snuff films <laughs> that Ray narrates. <laughs> Listen, she's still kicking. She's holding on. Now she's done. It's like Mystery Science Theater. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have ads? You're like, Vanilla Skull. <laughs> when you want something fresh. Wouldn't that be great? What if you narrated snuff films? <laughs> sobriety test? I, yeah. I, yeah, I passed you that. always Because of the way you speak, do you always get a sobriety test? I've had a couple. <laughs> I've dabbled. I sound like a doctor who drinks too much gin, I guess, at lunch. You do not sound like a doctor. <laughs> I don't know why you think you sound like a... What kind of doctor? I, remember, I'm thinking I of, sound uh, like a doctor. I sound like a professor <laughs> that's had a little too much to drink. <laughs> no, you sound exactly like what you did, which was a morgue employee. You yeah. sound like somebody who works at the morgue. 
if somebody looked at you and heard you talk, they would go, more. Yeah, there's like, the question again <laughs> was, why did you push her onto the tracks? Yeah, Christmas. <laughs> I understand tradition is a part, whatever, <laughs> but people need to understand I was helping her go to another realm. <laughs> Like every, every time he goes on like a long thing, I picture him on the stand <laughs> and just the whole courtroom in disbelief and the prosecutor having to redirect. He'd be like, Your Honor, you know. You ever walked in my shoes? <laughs> Permission to approach the bench. I feel like you're defending yourself in some heinous crime <laughs> and this is like your opening statement. Yes, I know. People want to repeat every year. It's tradition or something. I don't know. It's, but it's what it is. Now, here's the thing. They're going to show you a lot of evidence that I ate a woman, but I did not. I didn't. That's what I want you to know. All right. So, uh, all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> But that was a great one. I love It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, it's a little commie, but yeah. It's a little what? Commie. Oh, stop, you idiot. I'm a libertarian. I want to live in a world of anarchy. Here's a millionaire next door. Yeah, they should hand you a book called The De the, Decomposing, the Decomposing Body Next Door. I wrote that book. You wrote that book. The deli has like, this big you, container. Now you're very, I feel like you're very coarse about like life and death. Do you think the more kind of, you know... I, you seem to look at the world a very dark way. Well, people like to make it like, oh, you're scum. No, look, no, the way I, I, the way I, I was, wouldn't said that. What did the you even say? I more did oh, that. People like to make it like, oh, you're scum. <laughs> no, 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 I don't even know what you just said. People like to make it. Just ask him a reasonable question. He's like, people like to make it like, oh, you're scum. No, no, one, no one's saying that. You, would, you wouldn't put the weapon on the poster board. No, you like pictures of pictures it. Pictures of it. I'm very bad at that stuff. I'm good at photography, but I'm bad at, like, I don't, it'll always be, like, uneven and, like... You're uh, bad at putting together these rape collages <laughs> yeah. for court? It, it always, That's it, not it a, always it's seemed, a specific skill set. It always seemed unpolished. But you never had to testify. Ever. No, I would love to have testified. Yeah, I'm sure the they... Doctor, I'm sure they would have... I'm sure the prosecution would have loved that, too. They, Listen to me. Listen. This is what I found was the better. <laughs> they told me it had to be available. So for there was a Wendy's rapper... In the body. Well, listen, <laughs> I don't understand. There's garbage all over these bodies. They don't yeah. Be, yeah, I told you about this. They fucking shove garbage in the body after they're done cutting it up. What do you mean? Who's they? The, the, the ME's office, the, the morgue. Capitalism, per se, but the way we operate capitalism with this whole boom-bust economy, recession, depression, the, like, you know, lower the interest rates and get fucking right. loose money going right. and then collapse. Give it a shot. <laughs> I love how you, make, you just make a point and start to die. <laughs> it's capitalism. You know, this economy's run with the Fed lower your... <laughs> <laughs> You know, capitalism is to have the Rothschild. <laughs> hey, like, it's, it's just like free breakfast? No, it's a buffet, you fucking moron. You pay. Well, you... I don't know, because I, I think I thought buffets were complimentary. That's continental breakfast. Oh. You're such a piece of shit. <laughs> I don't know. God, you're such a trash The only time person. I've got, I got in the hotel. I thought the buffet was one that gave you a, a cereal box and said a prayer for you and told you to leave. No. The only time I went to hotels in the past 10 years was when I was photographing bar mitzvahs. It's fi fascinating to watch someone who can't speak English try to... I can... That's, that's how it's called skink. This... An original skink will have a haddock in it. The soup is a local specialty from the town of Cohen and Murray on the northeast coast of Scotland. See, I can read fine. You hired me to sell the elixir, <laughs> which I do every night outside of this goddamn tent. I do it, and I respect this organization. Do you understand? The woman who's accusing me of biting her tit is a drunk and a liar. All of the midgets stand by me, and it's not because I feed them, even though I do. Mints and tatties. 